I used to be a game developer, but I haven't released a game in over four years, and all the success I ever had has gone to waste. However, that's all gonna change. I'm gonna make a multiplayer tank game. How will I do that? Well, I sure as heck don't know. So I'm gonna open up Unity and make a brand new project. Ah, the freedom of a brand new Unity project. I could do anything. I could make a tank. I'm gonna make a tank. Boom, baby, the best tank you've ever seen. <sighs> I'm gonna buy a model. And a model I did. This is free. <laughs> That's my kind of price. Now that we have our tank, let's make this thing move. Instead of programming all the physics myself, why not pay someone else to do it? Boom. Tank game. Works perfectly. I can shoot, charge, everything. I've made my tank game. Now I don't have to be a game developer. I can release this, slap my name on it. There we go. Acid flip for ya. But this video was about making a multiplayer tank game, and this is not multiplayer. And what do I do? I pick the easiest multiplayer integration I can find and slap it in my game and it should work fine. After watching a quick tutorial on how to make a multiplayer game, I learned the basics and boom! Multiplayer! Thank you, Blackthorn Prod. I thought this was gonna be hard, but I have the multiplayer set up, I have the menus for joining and creating servers, but there are a couple issues. One being that the tanks are jittery while moving, and when they're stationary, they're still moving. It doesn't quite make sense to me, but future me will do great with it. Oh, and a side bug is, uh, the turrets aren't working either. Everything up to this point was done in two days. And then college kicked in, and I wasn't able to put as much time to the project as I wanted. I started playing some video games on the side that came out, and was really enjoying that. But, I really want to finish this game, so I worked on it off camera, and here's what I come up with. So first I changed the UI, however, I don't like it, I'm gonna change it to something else, but this is what it looks like currently, and I think it's okay. As well as, you can now change your name, you can change your display name so that other players in the game can see you as who you want to be. Um, I'm currently implementing a login system as well, so this is only temporary. However, I just wanted to test it out first before implementing a login system. So here you're seeing a custom create your own server menu, however this is not where I want the game to end up as, this is more for testing. I want the game to have some sort of long term purpose, like country versus country and then you have a world map and then you get to see who's winning and it changes over time. Yes, that's a big idea, but for fun that's, that's my goal. So here is me launching the game, just showing you how it looks, it currently connects to the server, then you can change your name by this little admin button, I don't have the login system set up, so that's why I'm doing it right now. And then you can find a server and join current games that are ongoing, which load all the servers in a list. You'll be able to pick a team on Team Deathmatch, because that's the only one I've coded in right now. It's super simple, and you can see the loading, of spawning, and all that jazz with the UI on top showing the scores of the two different teams, as well as your health UI in the bottom right, which came with the access pack, which was very helpful. And when you kill somebody, it adds a point to your team. Also, whenever you die, it just adds a point to the enemy team. You're losing a tank. I feel like it's pretty realistic. Here's a quick update on how the movement looks for the enemy tank. It's still jittery and I don't like it, however you don't move while sitting still, and it's more accurate than the last time. As you can see the turrets are working as well, the only problem is I had to basically recode how the tank worked, so buying the asset wasn't as helpful as I thought it would be, however I just like the models, I like the UI, I'm probably going to change the UI, but it's a good starting point for me. So here's what it looks like when you get killed by the enemy tanks. Once you die, and as you can see the points are now 2 out of 2, it ends the game and then it reloads the current map and resets all the score and then you can play again. Here you can see the main menu to select what version you want to go in. I have survival, campaign, and multiplayer. Currently the multiplayer is the only menu that works since that's the game I'm making. And here you can see the login screen that I've been working on. If you continue as guest, and it takes you right back to the last menu you saw, which doesn't actually log into account, so it generates a random guest name and doesn't save your kills or progress. So here I'm creating a fake account, I'm showing that the login works, and all that jazz It is authenticated from Firebase, which is fantastic, it's from Google. 
Um, also, all my data for your account is stored on Firebase, like your kills, your XP, all that fun stuff, which right now is only set by manually typing it in and hitting save data. I followed a tutorial just to understand the basics of this, because this is way out of my comfort zone. I'm more of a single player coder. This is not single player. So it's a little out of my comfort zone, and it's a little complicated. But overall, I'm really enjoying just having a break from college, from all the maths and computer engineering I'm doing, and doing a project that I'm really enjoying. Now I know there's a lot of big tank games out there, and I'm not trying to be a competitor. I don't particularly like the big game idea, like whenever it comes to Call of Duty or something like that, War Thunder even, it's like, it, it has all these niches, all these specific things that are to it, but I just want to make a simple tank game that I can add to it, that I can share with my friends, that I can just enjoy and have a break from all the stress in my life, which my goal is, is just to make a fun game. Now, it seems like I've just bought all these things off the store as well and used them. I really have had to do a lot for the server networking and to make it actually work. There's a lot more behind the scenes that I'm not showing you, but I thought all that was pretty boring compared to what else I could show. So, when I was explaining, you were watching the survival mode go on in the background. That was a mode I made for a basic idea of how I want the survival zombie in quotation mode to work. I want you to be able to upgrade yourself, all these things. On the main menu, there's an upgrade menu that actually works, and you can upgrade your damage, your armor, your speed, your reload, all that. And I find it really fun. Just as a side thing, instead of always working with servers, which can be very iffy at times, and not fun, and just drag on. But that'll be it for this devlog. There's not much else I can really explain at the moment, since I'm a little busy with school. However, once I get into the breaks, I'll be having a lot more time to just shove into this game and make it look prettier, nicer, and just work better. That's the plan. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you subscribe. Catch you guys later.